Hello and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 4th of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the key elements of this week before going on to give you your detailed zodiac forecast, so please stay with me. The standout event of this week is the Libra New Moon, which occurs on Wednesday. Also, Pluto, the planet of transformation, ends a long retrograde on this day. But the new moon is particularly uh, unique because it's very close to Mars, the planet of drive and passion, and uh, a planet which is actually in its detriment in the sign of Libra. Libra is about finding consensus, celebrating the things we have in common. It is about trying to achieve a degree of harmonisation. But sometimes Libra energy can attract uh, from other people almost uh, an assumption that the Libran type energy of giving and being very accommodating and attuned to another person, some people take that for granted. So Mars can be a very good thing in that regard and see us assert our boundaries in uh, a, a more robust way. But also Uranus is in a 150 or quincunx angle to the new moon. And that's quite a rebellious influence in Taurus. So I think this could be a week when there's some intense discussions over finances for many people. Also Mercury in its retrograde squares with Pluto on Monday and Tuesday. So Mercury being retrograde when there is the new moon is another hint that we have to work hard at our listening skills and try to contain our frustration if not everybody quite gets our drift straight away. But I think some relationships will go through some big transitions this week because by Thursday, Venus, the ruler of Libra, moves into Sagittarius. This is an excellent location to think about the truth of relationships, to seek freedom if a relationship hasn't been working, to be open-minded about the type of people we can connect with, because one of the things that I think is wonderful to do with Libra and energy is to celebrate the things we have in common and not focus always on the things that separate us, that make us different. So there are opportunities this week for us all. And please stay with me for your detailed forecast. But if you are new to me or my channel, I would be honoured if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to get your free written daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, you can do so by subscribing below. I've been writing these for you know, many, many years, over 25 years, and my work is featured all around the world and in Britain's most read daily newspaper. So you can get uh, yours free by subscribing below. And with year 2022 racing up, if you'd like to get your personal forecast, based on your time, date and place of birth, and you order it now, you can get the rest of this year free, plus a character analysis, and also 30% off, all based on you. No two charts are the same. It can give you serious insights of the opportunities ahead. Hello Libra, and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 4th of October. A really exciting week for you because, of course, it's the new moon in your sign. This happens once a year when the sun and the moon are exactly aligned. Now, this year, we have an extra ingredient that Mars is alongside them too. Now, you know from the intro on this video that Mars is not at its best in your sign. But what it can do is give you a greater sense of yourself. And I don't actually think that's a bad thing, particularly if you are one of those Libras who is so focused on making sure that everyone else's needs are met. Because Mars being in your own sign can make you more concerned with what's uh, important for you in terms of your individual plans, hopes, desires and attitudes. And that could come as a bit of a surprise to someone that you have to link into. And, of course, at the start of this week, we do have Mercury squaring in its retrograde with Pluto. So maybe there will be some sort of tense, raw uh, uh, moments with someone very close to you. But 
you're being pushed to take charge of your life, to take a firmer grip on the life tiller of your life direction. And because Uranus is in a part of your horoscope to do with breaking down what's no longer really necessary, or helping you to confirm what's incredibly important, it's a bit of a polar opposite, the eighth house for you, particularly with Uranus. When it comes to balancing where you're committed but where you want to do what's right for you, there's a bit of a conflict. So you're being asked to kind of look at where you've been giving away your power too easily. And whilst it's nice to be a lovely person and a good egg and a people pleaser and even popular, if in some way you don't feel that other people take you so seriously, don't respect you as much as they could, you know, Mars can give you a bit more grit, a little bit more assertiveness, and that actually could be really positive for you over the next month. So if there are important plans for you that you want to take forward with gusto, enthusiasm and drive, this new moon gives you so much support.